The Tate Gallery in Liverpool is inviting people through the looking glass for its new exhibition inspired by Lewis Carroll's Alice books. Co-curator of the Alice in Wonderland exhibition, Christoph Schultz, spoke about the broad range of works on display and why Alice provides enduring inspiration for artists. Um, I'm a scholar in literature and in art history and so I was thrilled a couple of years ago to discover uh, how many artists actually have been inspired by the Alice books. And yeah, bit by bit the one and the other piece came together and it really formed a nice, a nice body of works and then it started evolving and got bigger and, and yeah, at a certain point we even had to reduce the amount of material uh, to, to make a good selection for the show. To me, it is, it is the fact that it's a book about perception, about creation of meaning, about uh, the way we understand what we think, uh, and well, about understanding how we understand that actually. And I think that's like kind of a timeless topic. Uh, and it's also a subject of many artists' works. Uh, I'm, I'm particularly glad to have the historical material and really almost a complete a uh, survey of anything that's kind of left. We have proof sheets, we have original drawings, we have the, the diaries, uh, the manuscript, uh, we have many uh, historical photographs, um, we have great serialist material in the show, Well, and then we have really interesting uh, contemporary positions. Sometimes the artists are known, but the link to Alice uh, hasn't, been, hasn't been kind of uh, appreciated before. And then there's quite big works that, that, that have come from all over the globe, from, from America particularly, but also from other places. So it's very exciting to see this all coming together. Well, I guess um, Alice, the Alice books, or the figure of Alice, is really part of our collective memory. Uh, so that's something like, like a memory that we all share, even though we have not read the book, eventually may not have read the book, we will recognize the figure, the figure of Alice. Uh, through the landmark illustrations uh, by, by John Tanyell. So I, I doubt that there's anybody who's not heard of this, and I guess it's one, apart from the Bible, one of the most well-known books in the world. So I guess that, that artistic responses have for, from like ranging uh, from a period of 150 years should be of interest for, for many people. At least that's what I hope.